Google is undeniably the most popular search engine in the world. Some estimates indicate that it holds as much as 85% of the global search market share. And it's not surprising that Google has taken the top spot. It works incredibly well at finding relevant content, and it performs well despite a lot of traffic, with users conducting as many as 99,000 searches every second. As with many of Google's products, the downside of search is the privacy issues. Google is notorious for gathering and monetizing your data. That's where search engines like DuckDuckGo come in. DuckDuckGo, as well as a handful of other privacy-focused search engines, promises to let you search the web just like you do with Google, just without all the added baggage. Built entirely on open source tools, DuckDuckGo was launched a full decade after Google, in 2008. It was live for three years before it had a single employee other than the founder, Gabriel Weinberg, who literally started the project in his basement. From a user's perspective, the site works the same as any other search engine, except for one critical difference. It pledges to keep your searches private. DuckDuckGo won't link your searches to an account or IP address. Instead, it only displays ads relevant to the current search. It also offers a standalone browser for desktop and mobile devices that enables ad blocking, email protection, app tracking, and other features. But where does it get its search results from? For what it calls instant answers, simple responses to a variety of questions a user could pose, DuckDuckGo partners with a number of sites like Wikipedia, SportRadar, RhymeBrain, and many others. But for more traditional search results, it actually partners with Microsoft's Bing to help out on their backend. In fact, the company found itself in hot water after researchers found Microsoft tracking scripts while using DuckDuckGo in 2022. The CEO later explained in a post on Reddit that they're contractually restricted by Microsoft from stopping all of their trackers. Later that year, however, DuckDuckGo announced that it would further restrict Microsoft trackers. So at the end of the day, is DuckDuckGo worth it? It depends. DuckDuckGo has a bit of a reputation for serving results that aren't as good as Google's. But as their team continues to refine how it gets those results in the first place, that reputation is changing rapidly. Far and away, it's the best choice from a data collection and security standpoint. So if online safety is your concern, then the answer is unequivocally yes, use DuckDuckGo. You can always use an ad blocker, a VPN, and other tools to keep yourself safe online, and then still use Google if for some reason you're not finding what you're looking for. But if privacy is your biggest priority, then DuckDuckGo is definitely a better option. Happy web surfing.